kind of a quiet morning here on Search Bay. Other than the birds. Not a bad way to wake up. Birds are making a bit of a racket. Oh, that's just a little seagull right there. That's Lake Huron. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's a laker way out there on the horizon. If I can do this two-handed, <clears throat> carrying my coffee and the camera. Yeah, we're uh, back at Search Bay. I've done a few videos from here over the years. One of my favorite spots. Spent, uh, oh, let's see, last time I did a video, I think I was at Hackwood. And uh, went and spent 10 days up at French Farm Lake. Uh, went and saw some family in mid-Michigan and came back here to Search Bay, just hitting the same spots over and over again, doing my little circuit and uh, around the tip of the Mint area of Michigan, a bunch of free campsites. Been here three days, probably spend another week or so. Um, got in here on a Sunday. It's full up. Um, all the spots during the summer are, uh, especially the spots on the water, are hard to get. They show up on a Sunday coffee's coming back to bite excuse me uh, show up on a Sunday and you, you may get a spot um, I, I tried to get back into French Farm but uh, they were full up so I made the drive across the bridge and uh, nabbed this spot actually I think it's this is the exact same spot from the last video I did of Search Bay there's like 10-12 um, places to camp here and uh, got the same one <laughs> Not a bad spot. I do have another van lifer um, right behind me. Uh, I haven't talked to him yet, but he does have a social media presence. He's, he's got his YouTube channel on the side of his van. I haven't said hi to him. I may. Looks like a decent guy. Um, about my age, single, traveling in a van. Should probably say hi. But, um, yeah, uh, yesterday, now, actually, before I get into that, I wanted to share something I did find when I was at French Farm. Like I said, um, the birds are waking me up this morning. And I found a cool little app. Maybe I'll put some footage of it here. And it's, uh, it's an app that uses the, your microphone on your, on your uh, phone and listens for the bird calls. And then we'll flash on the screen what it is hearing, the species of birds, which is really cool. Um, it's pretty accurate as far as I can tell. I am not a big birder, but when you're sitting here listening to a whole bunch of birds and uh, you're wondering what that what they are, I mean, the, the, the big ones you knew, I, you know, the loons, the seagulls, the, 
stuff like that. But all the little Tweety birds, it, it can tell you what the species are, which is really cool. And um, I've, I've been enjoying it. So far, highly recommended. <laughs> as, uh, as much as that's worth. But yeah, it, it's a cool little app and I have been enjoying it. Um, logging all the different birds that I am and uh, that I'm hearing and sometimes seeing it depends in the heavy woods it's hard to see the little little guys but uh, I'm not much of a birder but it's it's fun to do so yesterday um, I'm here at a search bay and uh, we're about a mile off the pavement and 10 miles west of Hessel. Hessel is a little town well known. Um, it's not really even a town. It's more of a hamlet. It's a vacation spot, um, a group of homes on the water, and a couple little stores in a marina. Anyways, we're about 10 miles west of here, so I took a bike ride down to Hessel and back. 20 mile round trip, and I did that on my new e-bike. Some Aventon Adventure. Um, expensive. <laughs> I've been saving up for it all last year. Knew I was going to get something. So I ended up uh, picking up a Aventon Adventure. It's, uh, it's got a couple different modes on the Eco mode, which is the low power assist. Is uh, You get about a 60 mile range, or at least that's what they're claiming. On a big battery and... Uh, fat tires. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, rode the 20 miles. It was like 19 mile round trip to uh, Hessel and back yesterday. And I, I really used the battery hard and took it down to 60%. You know, it was, I was in sport mode doing 30 miles an hour on the on, on some of the bigger roads because I just wanted to burst down there and uh, to get off the big roads and then, you know, powered it back when I got off onto the little roads. But, yeah, so far, a lot of fun. Um, heavy. It's a tank, 77 pounds. And uh, we'll see how well it carries on the back of the van. So far, no problems, but I'm still uh, still trying to get the setup just how I want it. I think uh, maybe later today I'll put the GoPro on the on the bike and maybe we'll get some footage of uh some action footage of the of the e-bike they still say footage i'm old see years ago we used to do stuff on film and you would measure it in foot. yeah you know so anyways yeah i think uh I think we'll do some breakfast and then maybe get the uh, e-bike out. Yeah, you can see the other van. I kind of got close to them. But it was the only open site. And somebody just left it a few minutes before I uh, I showed up because the fire was still a little warm. So I know somebody else was here next to them. But that's how it is here. Some of the, some of the spots are a little close. Not all of them, but the ones on the water are, I don't know. 50, 60 yards apart. So, uh, yeah. Gonna finish my coffee and uh, maybe get the bike out. But really, what a great way to wake up.
I just realized my little lavalier mic does not work on the phone holder on the bike. It's uh, so there's probably going to be a lot of wind noise. So I'm just kind of going slow, you know, like 10 miles an hour on eco mode. I think this bike has a 60 mile range on eco mode. And really, if you're just tooling around slow, that's more than enough. There's four levels. Eco touring, sport, and stupid. <laughs> stupid speed will get you up to 30 miles an hour. At 28, they claim, 29, if you have a little bit of a tailwind and pumping hard. You really don't need to go much faster than that. I'm recording this on my phone because my GoPro is refusing to cooperate. I charged it up, and when I charge it up on the, uh, directly off the 12 volt battery system in the van, it, uh, I think it overheats the battery and it refuses to turn on for an hour or so until it cools down. Let's see how shaky, see how shaky this uh, video is. Now I have the new laptop and I can do a little better editing. Might be able to do uh, some stabilization to the video, a little post-production. I'm just taking a mile or so dry ride down here to uh, the first little pond. Just get out on the bike and just get out of the van really and get a little video. But it is a pretty ride. It's uh, a leisurely pedal, even when you're going on eco mode. Now there's the uh, display. You can see right now um, the assist level is off. And just by hitting your thumb, eco mode, touring mode, sport mode, and turbo. Hey, look, I've gone 30 miles exactly. And 100% battery power. Like I said, I just charged this thing up. Yeah, the GoPro is definitely not, not working. I think the battery needs to rest after charging. Anyways, I thought I'd show you what the, uh, what this looks like when you're riding. Yeah, that's gonna be a, hard to, film and ride at the same time but that's the uh, that's the display I really like the fact that it gives you not just a bar graph but an actual percentage of the battery yeah let's uh, head on back to camp Yeah, nice little ride. I don't know if you heard it, but the woman back there said, now that thing's sick, talking about the bike. Yeah, the, uh, the bike does draw some attention in a good way.
it's a good looking bike. And uh, I've had a couple of different comments about it. Well, it's uh, Wednesday morning. And I'm going to have to get out of here a little earlier than I expected. I'm going to break camp. I realized I didn't show you uh, how I'm putting the bike on the van, the new Rocky Mount swing away hitch. So I thought I'd break camp and show you how you do that. Uh, the gazelle comes down pretty easy. It's a uh, one-person operation. get on down the road. This is the uh, Rocky Mount Swing Away bike rack that I just got. It's not the final configuration, but um, it's going to work for right now. So uh, until next time, time to get on down the road. <laughs>